Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great today. So I know things are a little too busy for me around this time, especially given the Occupy 10 Downing Street protest that we are planning for June 12th. But I said to myself that no, I really need to take some time out to share um, something very, very disturbing that I stumbled upon when I was reading stuff about the death of TV Joshua. You know, many people had been expecting me to say something about his death and I was like, why should I say something about his death? Uh, the guy is a human being. He came, he did whatever he did and time came and then he passed on. So why must someone have something to say about his death? He's, he's dead and he's dead. But then there was something that I saw um, somebody was talking about how that someone accurately uh, predicted the death of TV Joshua. And I was like, okay, one of those people that sees stuff. And then I looked at it and it wasn't the usual thing that I'm used to seeing. Maybe some so-called prophet comes out and say, oh, somebody's going to die. A great man of God will die and all those bad things that I don't really care about, really. Uh, but this was different. And I want you to stay with me because I want to point you to something. The reason I am taking this time out of my very busy schedule to make this video is because something very profound has just happened. And maybe if you stay with me, I'm going to help you to see what I'm seeing, which so many people are not able to figure out because I've been on this journey trying to uncover all of these things for so many years. This guy who accurately predicted the death of tb joshua and he did it three times his name on facebook is false prophet just imagine false prophet and he's proudly addressing himself as false prophet i think that account is now you know taken down for whatever reason i don't know but i took screenshots of his posts on facebook before that account was taken down, I guess probably yesterday or something like that. And I want to show you the first tw uh, the first post he made on Facebook about the death of TB Joshua. This person said, Sudden death of the founder of Synagogue Church of All Nations. This I have said. Now we go forward again to May 10. He goes up again and he says, I repeat, the sudden death of the founder of synagogue church of all nations will shock Nigerians. This I have seen. He starts this one with something very interesting. He says, do you know why I repeat some of my prophecies? It's because I am 100% sure of them. Think about that. And then he went further to say, I repeat sudden death of the founder of synagogue church of all nations. I have gave this prophecy before. So, who could this be? He is so proud of the fact that he is the false prophet. And we know what the Bible says about the false prophet. The false prophet is directly associated with the false Christ, which is the Antichrist. And so, if you check your scriptures, you will see almost everywhere, so many places the Bible spoke about the false prophet. He will operate with the powers of the Antichrist, who is the false Christ. They will perform miracles. They will see and prophesy wonders. They will do things to marvel the word. It is because of them that the Bible says that the Lord is going to cut the day short because if it, if it were possible that even the very elect will be deceived. So the Bible already told us they're going to have the power to do great things. The Antichrist will be a miracle worker. He can even make fire come down from heaven. He can perform miracles and heal people. In my Deception of the Ages video series, I told you how that the Antichrist, also popularly known as Maitreya, had already built or dug 777 wells in all the continents of our world. And that was the advent, that was what gave birth to what you now call miracle water that you see in so many of all these fake prophetic ministries. And need I remind you, in case you have forgotten, that 98 to 99 percent 
of all these things that you call prophetic ministries are fake. They are all rooted in the ideology or philosophy of the Antichrist. In the, in, in the religious dimensions of the Antichrist. That's what they follow. He is their father. They are not of God. That's why God says he will cut the day short. These people are not from God. Forget the miracles you're seeing. They, the Bible told us they would do it. So here you have a person who says, I am the false prophet. I am not a prophet, I'm a seer. But then my name is false prophet. Repeatedly post after post after post after post. Let's look at what he says about himself. So here he says, I see what no man can see. I see and tell you what I see. I give you dates and they come to pass. Who does that? Is I the false prophet? Can you imagine this? He is openly admitting it. Like, like being a false prophet is such a beautiful, cute thing. He's just openly saying it. Now look at what he says about himself again. He says, year 2024, November 16, very precise, November 16. He says, false prophet will reveal himself. I will come down from the sky. I will walk on air. I will float in air. I will move with the speed of light. I will speak in a thunderous voice. Then the world will turn their attention towards me. Then they will know that I exist. Truly, I'm telling you, the whole world will shake. They will say that I'm Antichrist, but I'm not. This is the spirit of the Antichrist that has taken on the body of one of these young perfect prophets. Most of them go to very drop down locations in our cities, you know, inner cities and villages and poor areas and where people are very poor. That's where they normally go to establish their thing. So one of them has now been possessed just the same way that Maitreya, the Antichrist, was always possessing Benjamin Krem, the man called Benjamin Krem, who was a forerunner of the Antichrist, who revealed so much about his coming, who I believe stayed around to midwife his coming before he died. I've shown you Benjamin Krem before. So here we are. He says, I will walk on air. I will come down from the sky. I will float in air. But listen to this. He said, I will move with the speed of light. Did you see what he has as his display image on Facebook? It is alien ships, galaxies, UFOs. This is not one crazy, funny guy, Nigerian guy who just wants to defraud people. And then he's got all this knowledge, got all this information. You think he's backdating his prophecies. What about the ones that are not backdated, that have not happened yet? He's talking about them. In fact, I'm going to share with you some that he talked about, which just happened shortly after I came in contact with this guy. So he will move at the speed of light. Who moves at the speed of light? It is the aliens. It is the alien ship, the UFOs. He says one of the biggest problems is the stigma that comes with talking about UFOs. How would you describe this, this thing that we can't explain? What we're seeing are a number of distinct, different things. Sometimes we're seeing a 50-foot object. They can travel at hypersonic speeds. Hypersonic speed. That's almost even faster than the speed of light. Hypersonic speed, UFOs. UFOs are unidentified flying objects. UFOs carry aliens in them. Alien, the term alien is a cute way of saying demons. So these are fallen angels, demons who are on earth, been working on earth for so many years to prepare the way for the Antichrist to make his eventual emergence. To reveal himself to our world. That's why Benjamin Krem told us that there's going to be something called the day of declaration. On the day of declaration, he is going to come into a telepathic rapport with every human being. You're going to hear him say that, but before I play you that, watch what this guy says about himself again. Listen to this. He said, let me break it down. 
Because you people are my witnesses. I will appear on the sky. He repeats that again. I will appear on the sky in the mid-air. I will appear once all over the world. At the same time, some it will be their night, while others their days. And I will address them with their languages. I am what the world has never seen before. I am the seer. False prophet is my name. These are deep stuff. The Antichrist just took over his body to make his entry into the Nigerian media airspace. That's what I'm telling you that I know. I'm te this is not ordinary. And you know from everything we had known in the past, we will have been told from all our researches that the moment he's about to make his entry, some of his servants whom he has flooded our world with will begin to disappear one by one. Some will go under, some will die. The things will happen because all the glory that these, his false prophets all over the place are receiving, they will not be channeled towards him. They've already watered our world with false prophetic ministries, false Pentecostal preaching and ideologies and philosophies. Everything is false right now. Very difficult to pinpoint the right one. They've already saturated the world with it. So he's about to show up for real. When he shows up now and he starts giving fake prophecies, he starts giving you prophecies about everything, you will believe him and worship him as the Christ. Can you believe that this particular one, that his name is false prophet, that many Nigerians were already going to him to give them prophecy, to help them, to tell them their future. People were already falling in love with him, especially after the TB Joshua prophecy came to pass. Even though his name says false prophet, 90% or 99% of those people who are reaching out to him are people who go into the church. How more difficult is it going to be for him to take? He's taken over the world already. Because the charlatans who you call prophets all over the place have now come to saturate our world with the power that he gave to them. He gives them power to perform miracles. He said, I will speak to them in their languages. Where have you heard that before? I played you Benjamin Krem, the forerunner, the ultimate forerunner of Maitreya Buddha, the Antichrist himself, because that's his real name. And I'm going to tell you, show you something about Maitreya, the numerical value of Maitreya. Greek, Hebrew, all of them sum to 666. On the day of declaration, to get back to that, he will, I don't know how long it will take, maybe 30 minutes, 35 minutes, something, 40 minutes, something like that. He will not speak, not say a word, but his thoughts, his ideas will be heard inwardly, telepathically, by everybody in the world, everybody above the age of 14. So 
If you're 14, you're Slovenian, you'll hear him in Slovenian. If you're Russian, you'll hear him in Russian. Americans in American, uh, English in English, French in French, Dutch in Dutch, and so on. He will come into telepathic rapport with every adult in the world. And each of us will hear him inwardly, telepathically, in our own language. So you will hear him as if he's speaking directly to you, which in a sense he is. He will come into a telepathic rapport with everyone above the age of 14, the age of innocence. You will hear him as though he's speaking directly to you, which in essence he is. And that's the same thing that this first prophet said here on this post. He said, and I will address them with their languages. These are not things that anybody can just come up with and drop like that because he just wants to go and scam people. I will address them in their languages. This is the same thing that I've been telling you about my trial. This is my trial speaking through someone just so that they can stimulate the masses and make them aware, sensitize them on the upcoming event called the Day of Declaration, which is the day he's going to make himself known to our world. He will not speak to you any other way other than telepathically. You will just be there and you'll be hearing his voice in your loud through your ears, loud, like he's sitting down talking to you. This is what the same prophet is saying. The false prophet. He predicted Joshua's death three good times confidently without any fear of contradiction. And almost every other prophecy I have seen him make, he's repeating all of them. He's repeating all of them. He's repeating all of them one by one. Before I take you to some of his prophecies, which I'm going to play for you uh, very soon, let us see some other things he said about himself and see if we can make a few more connections. I was made and designed for this generation. Who is the man who sees tomorrow hundreds of years in advance and predict it 100% accurately? What is his name? His name is False Prophet. And then he says, I traveled to Argentina in the years 2050. It was very beautiful. People there never know that I came from 2021. Are you surprised? I traveled backward too. I remain the false prophet. So he's also a time traveler. Everything we've known about the aliens, the demons who are here to take over our world. They call them the masters of wisdom. They call the Antichrist himself the world teacher and his masters of what? The masters of wisdom. Masters of wisdom is what Benjamin Cram calls them. Their journey and their job on earth is to weaken all of humanity and make them susceptible to the manipulations of the Antichrist. This world teacher called Maitreya, never thinking I would ever see him, but I thought the story was interesting when Ben said he's come since 1977. Uh, he calls him uh, Maitreya the Christ reappeared. Not a Christian thing, but the love energy, the Christ consciousness energy. The Lord Maitreya is awaited by Christians as the Christ, although they don't know it, is awaited by Hindus as Krishna, although they don't know it, is awaited by Jews as the Messiah, although they don't know it, is awaited by Muslims as the Imam Mahdi, although they don't know it, and awaited by Buddhists who have his name right, as Maitreya Buddha, foretold to come now by the previous Buddha, Gautama Buddha who said at this time would come into the world a great teacher, a Buddha like himself, who from his great spiritual stature would stimulate and galvanize, inspire humanity. Stimulate and galvanize all of humanity. Did you hear what he said? He said he's the same Imam Mahdi that Muslims are expecting, the Krishna that Hare Krishna worshippers are expecting, 
the whatever the Christ that the Christians are expecting, the Buddha, that the Buddhists, and then he said that those ones are the ones who got his name right. So he is Maitreya Buddha. That's his real secret name. That's the name of the Antichrist. Maitreya Buddha. So that's him. And I was listening, I was watching one of the posts before they deleted his account on Facebook. I don't know why I didn't screenshot that. Where he was saying that I, I am for no religion. He said he is for every religion and not for any religion. So he is for Muslims, he's for people who identify as Christians, even though he talked down on Christians. He said the God of Muslims is Allah. What about what is the God of Christians? They are confused. This, that, that, that. So he, he doesn't quite want to identify with Christianity. Of course he can. But he will tell you that he is the one that Christians are, have been waiting for. He's the one that Muslims have been waiting for. Even though he is more in tune with the way of life or way of worship of the Buddhists. That's why in the one world religion era, you are going to see Buddhist religion as the key, the principal religion that everybody will be compelled to follow. The meditation and everything that goes on there is going to be the number one religion in the world. That's actually the number one religion practiced in Hollywood as of today. Buddhism. Because the man in charge is the Antichrist himself. That's him with the one eye here. Buddha. The one who empowered all these fake prophets to deceive millions of people. He's about to show up now. And many of the people he has deceived to deceive others are going to start going away. Many of them are going to begin to go underground. You won't hear about them a lot again. They will just disappear into the thin air. Some of them will just die abruptly out of nowhere and just, just die and disappear. So many things. And then the world would then look up to him and him alone. That's why he gave us a date. He said year 2024, November 16. Year 2024. He said, false prophet will reveal himself. Three years from now, he, he was very precise about it. They are here. And there's going to be so much chaos. There has to be order out of chaos. What the Illuminati calls order up chaos. So there has to be massive chaos and then he will come to create order out of that chaos. Then all of humanity will stream towards him and hold him dear as the God who brings peace to our world. The 11th of June, 1988, in Nairobi, a most extraordinary event. There's a woman in Nairobi called Mary Akatsa, who is a fundamentalist Christian. She doesn't believe in Maitre at all. She believes in the Christ. She's a very devout Christian. She held this meeting just outside the town and she has 6,000 followers. And we have photographs taken there showing them thousands, 6,000 people. And she said, God has spoken to me and we're going to be visited by a great being, somebody very, very important. And suddenly,